tools are that you are using right now a uh, Chrome web browser to watch this, right? Like most of the world is using right now Google Chrome as a web browser. They have 62% of the market share. I remember many, many, many years ago that I was using Firefox, right? And, and I don't know at what point, which, at which point I started using Chrome. And as far as I remember, I think it was because of Chrome DevTools. Uh, there were so many different functionalities and, and I, I, I was using Still, a lot of, of many of these functionalities to double check things as in as an SEO, right? Uh, releases changes on my client sites and my own sites. Um, in any case, uh, realistically, I, I, although I love Chrome functionalities and all these extensions that exist nowadays, um, I started to see that my computer, I have a, a little laptop that I bring with me all the time. I work a lot on the go, right? Like, oh my God, the RAM consumption was crazy, right? And and I didn't want it to, of course, I can upgrade, etc. But honestly, it, it's, it's not reasonable that a web browser consumes so much RAM, right? So I wanted to give Firefox a chance again uh, to avoid this from happening and, and Funnily enough, there are so many memes about this, right? Like RAM consumption, consumption from, from, from Chrome versus any other browsers. Um, and I thought that it actually that it was going to be pretty hard to leave Chrome, right? I, it's, it, I was so used to it. Um, realistically, it hasn't been that hard. I, I, I have been using already um, Firefox parallelly with Chrome. And right now I'm completely focused using Firefox nowadays uh, because I was I, I found that many of these functionalities that I thought that they were Chrome only uh, completely findable only in Chrome are also in Firefox. Uh, Firefox also has it, its own dev tools, developer tools. There are so many of these SEO extensions that I was using in in, in Chrome uh, that I also was able I was also able to find them on 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 Firefox or alternative that will work pretty well also uh, in Firefox. So in today's episode, I want to show you which are those uh, Firefox extensions that you can use uh, to make the switch to if you want to, if you want to give your computer a little bit of more free, free RAM. Let's take a look. Let's start with a Firefox add-on that you are probably using already as a Chrome extension, the link redirect trace extension here as an add-on that you can also use in Firefox. There is a Firefox version here from Lean Research Tool. It's pretty, pretty handy because you can see the HTTP status of any page. So for example, here I was checking before if the HTTP version of the homepage in Remoters is um, effectively 301 redirecting towards the, the, um, the HTTPS version of, of the URL. And we can see here uh, the raw HTTP headers information. We can see here uh, the, the, the speed. We can see here the, the amount of backlinks. We can also see if any page uh, somehow is being blocked through the robots.txt. For example, this page here, uh, the, the, the Spain version of Neta Porter here in the subdirectory is, is shown to be blocked. Uh, to the robots.txt and it is blocked indeed. If we go to the robots.txt, we can see here how it has been blocked probably because it's not even in Spanish, it's still the same content in English, just like that, right? So they are probably blocking it uh, because of that. And we can see this and we can do this very straightforward validation also of, uh, of the canonicalization of, of the page directly uh, through this uh, little add-on that is very, very handy. Probably one of those first add-ons that you want to install. Another very handy extension that we have also as a Firefox add-on is SEO Median here. Uh, probably you have also already used it in, in, in Chrome and if you haven't, you're really missing out because this is an only one very handy SEO um, tool. Honestly, it has uh, the option to analyze the on-page SEO configuration. So for example, here I have title, meta descriptions, the canonicalization, the meta robots, the headings, uh, the images, those without an uh, alt description, the open graph configuration, the Twitter cards uh, configuration of any given page that you're seeing. I can highlight all the external and internal links of a given page. I can check for broken links or links going to redirected pages uh, uh, from this page. I can have a SERP preview. I can see how this page will look for a specific 
query. So for example, here, remote work resources, I can check here. Oh, this is how this page will look if it ranked for this specific query, or I can actually check and compare um, any SERP, international SERP, right? Uh, so for example, I want to see the SERP for the US and for the UK in English for uh, remote work resources here and uh, see if the same pages are being ranked or not, right? And how do they compare? And if my site is, is ranked specifically in the same way or not in, in both, right? So I can check here for the UK and do the same for the US. And for example, in this case, I can see here remoters. In this other case, I can see that remote, uh, remoters is a little bit higher in, in, in the SERPs for, for the UK. So it's pretty handy. It's an only one if you haven't used yet. It does this only this extension will cover a lot and will allow you to do many, many of the validations that you are probably already doing in Chrome. Uh, and if not, if you are not yet using it, you probably are using many different extensions just for the same functionality that this one extension can give you. If you don't want to completely rely in a SEO minion and want to use another all-in-one uh, SEO extension, SEO add-in. Take a look at the SEO info one for, uh, from Web Webble Webble. How how do you pronounce this? Webber Press. Um, this is another very handy again tool. All in one. You can see here that it will show you the HTTP status. If it is indexable, if it is followable, if it is mobile friendly, um, it will show you the loading times here. Title tag, canonicalization, robots.txt, the description, um, the HTTP status, if it is indexable, for forable, mobile, if it has AMP or not, um, more details regarding the, the performance, uh, more details regarding the, the resp response headers here, the IP address here, the Azure Flang uh, configuration in, ca in, ca in case it has or, or not, open graph, Twitter cards, etc., etc. So it's actually very, very handy. It's even more complete, I will say, it has additional on page configuration uh, information, although not necessarily the simulation areas and, and, and sort of previews that uh, the SEO minion has. So they, I can think that I think that they can complement each other very well. Um, and here even more information. So I will say that this is another very handy tool for you to check. Uh, the on page SEO configuration of any page. And there are even many options to choose from. Here's another SEO tool, all in one validator uh, that has also an extension for Firefox, not only for Chrome, Mangul's SEO extension. Uh, so, for example, with uh, Mangul's, we can check many, many, many things, uh, not only on page SEO uh, configuration. So, for example, we can take a look at the most important backlinks if any given uh, site, as we can see here, including uh, those links, not only to a specific page, but uh, to any internal page of, of the domain. Uh, it, it analyzes the root domain. We can take a look at the on-page SEO of the specific URL that we are seeing here, uh, title tag, the description, number of, number of words, uh, the robots.txt configuration. Uh, it looks for the sitemap, uh, if it is um, how many, Pages uh, the, the 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 site has uh, index in in Google the canonical configuration the headings here uh, most common keywords on on the page so for example two words or three words terms here the outbound links of the page uh, where do they go uh, where they are found uh, what is the anchor text. Page P2, it validates uh, the social tags too. So as you can see, we have many different alternatives, many different options. If you actually use Mangul's uh, uh, tools as uh, you pay for it, 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 it also has uh, this run tracking option here directly. But if, if not, even if you are not a client, uh, if you are not using them, um, and you are not a client, you can still get pretty cool, uh, useful, meaningful information here and even the, the page speed validation here well, directly with, with recommendations of things that can be done to improve speed. So as you can see, it's pretty handy and yet another option not only to double validate and double check what the other tools have given to us, but also to expand a little bit with additional information. 
Pre-XML is one of those add-ons that I used to have also in Chrome and I loved it because, it, well, I didn't use it necessarily every day, but whenever I needed to check an XML sitemap directly in my browser, it was so, so handy. So for example, here, I went to go and take a look at uh, this XML sitemap from Nike here. And as you can see, instead of being shown uh, the XML sitemap uh, index uh, in a very ugly, non necessarily well format, um, display in, in my browser, we can take a look at it like this. We can actually search by name or expat to, and if, for example, if I click here, I am able to go through and to start browsing through the different XML sitemaps too. And I am going to be shown here if we wait for a little bit, uh, and, and, uh, we are going to be able to see all of the different URLs of this XML sitemap that actually is, is is including and featuring Azure Lang annotations too. So it also support them as you can see here, let's take a look. So it's not necessarily like very straightforward XML sitemap, but even, uh, even like that, it does a pretty good job on displaying and showing the different uh, organization and, 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 and really facilitates uh, that we can go through and start browsing through any given sitemap directly in the browser without having to open it in a, in a code um, editor uh, in our computer, having to go load it directly. Disable JavaScript is one of those Firefox add-ons that you should definitely install to, to for quick technical SEO validations. And um, as the name says, what it simply does is to enable and disable JavaScript uh, from any given tab. So for example, here I am in the Starbucks, the Starbucks app um, that is a web app that is relying in clients are client-side rendering, um, relying a lot in JavaScript to display the, the content here. So of course, if I disable JavaScript, it, it's not, it doesn't show anything. Uh, but for example, if I go here to the Remoters homepage, um, it, it is not really using that much JavaScript to show any of the content. Uh, so if I disable JavaScript here, you can see, oh, I can see everything on the page. So if I go back here to the Starbucks app, if I disable, if I enable uh, JavaScript now here on this tab, I will be able to see again here all of the content. So it's pretty handy to validate and check quickly uh, if you're using or if you're relying on JavaScript a lot, if you're using uh, client-side rendering or, or server-side rendering uh, in case you're you're using JavaScript to, to show any of your content. Something else to love about Firefox is that it also has built-in functionalities that are pretty, pretty cool. So for example, you can use um, extensions or add-ons to take screenshots. Uh, so for example, the awesome Screenshot Plus um, extension is available for Firefox. However, Firefox has this um, built-in functionality of take a screenshot. You just need to right click in whatever place and you will be able to take a screenshot like this of specific areas of the screen or of uh, the whole um, page that you are, you are looking at, right? And um, it also has a, a very similar functionality than the one that we have with Chrome DevTools that we all love. And if, if I remember well, that was one of the main reasons why I switched uh, a long time ago, right? Uh, so in this case, we also have, have um, developer tools in Firefox. Similar to Chrome DevTools, with Firefox developer tools, we have a panel here, different panels uh, that uh, we can go through the DOM, uh, the DOM of the, the, the page that we are browsing and take a look at, at the code here. We can search uh, through the HTML. We have the console, we have a debugger. We can see the performance of any given page and we can record it. Um, we can see the different network calls. Uh, we can switch between, again, devices. We can simulate devices, any given specific device here. So that is very, very, very cool uh, too. So many of this very popular functionalities that we have had uh, gotten very use uh, with uh, Chrome DevTools, we also have them available here. Uh, the additional functionalities or extensions that we can integrate, for example, a web scrapper or uh, this page performance add-on uh, that can be included here 
and and uh, in the developer tools um, console. So it's I, it, I, I'm sure that there will be a few little functionalities that won't be design, exactly the same, right? And we have seen that uh, Chrome has invested so much lately on included, uh, 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 including many, many, many different uh, functionalities and validation in, in Chrome DevTools. But I'm pretty sure that most of the main uh, functionalities, validations, at least the ones that uh, I used to go through the DOM to switch between um, uh, the, the different type of devices, uh, to take a look a little bit of, of, of the, the performance of, of a page. Of course, I missed a little bit on having uh, the Lighthouse integration uh, that uh, I have in Chrome. We have this little web performance additional uh, functionality. It's not definitely not the same, not as good looking, nice looking, right? Um, so I will say, but of course, like we have these other extensions that I show you before that including, uh, included performance uh, validation, like the one of, of uh, Mongols, for example, included a performance validation. So as you can see, there are some things that are the same, or all the very similar or very good alternatives. And, and then at the end of the day, I think that uh, we are able to do 99% of the things that we used to do with Chrome DevTools, uh, also with uh, not only the developer tools of, of Firefox, but with the additional extensions that we can use. So at the end of the day, it's, it's a pretty, pretty good balance. It's a pretty good result. And last but not least, let's take a look uh, a little bit at, at a few add-ons that are available for Firefox that are not necessarily only SEO focus, but they can be pretty handy for SEO validation. Like for example, uh, the web developer extension here um, to manage cookies, CSS, forms, images, etc. That can be very helpful for troubleshooting. Also the web um, scrapper uh, add-on that is also available for, for Firefox. The Google Analytics debug, um, add-on here, the Gustory add-on also for ads, for identifying, blocking, ad trackers, etc. Uh, the build with uh, extension here to identify what is the technology that is used for any given page that you're visiting, uh, the web developer checklist, also the, the cookie manager. So you can see there's a wealth of, of add-ons of extensions for Firefox that are very similar. There are always an alternative for one pretty much, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that for one that you're already using for, for Chrome. So if you want to try it out, if you want to do the switch, if you want to check if, if you can free a lot of your RAM, a lot of your memory by doing this switch, give it a go. And, and I'm pretty sure that you will find that 99% of the functionality that you um, were we're getting from Chrome, you will still find it here in Firefox while gaining all this extra RAM. I hope that this has been useful for you. Uh, let me know if you try it out, how, how it goes. If you know of any other extension of any other add-on too, please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to share also over Twitter. And if you have also any idea for a future Crawling Mondays, let me know. I'll be happy to do uh, and cover whatever topic you think that might be useful too. So thank you very much and see you next Monday. Bye-bye.